All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Masterius. Come on in, grab a seat, make yourselves at home. Um, I've got a couple monitors and stuff, sound stuff flying around here. So if you see me looking around and pointing at stuff, that's why. Uh, my name is Michael Dargy. I'll be your host and moderator tonight. I'm a creative professional. I make more creative based out of C space here in Calgary. Um, and I'm also a potential investor in Masterius. And like you, I've got questions, which is why we're all here. Um, yeah, please say hello in the chat. Let us know where you're from and feel free to share your comments and questions throughout the event. We'll try to get to them all. If you're new to Masterius, you are in for a treat. Masterius works towards a world where there are no more starving artists. It's a one-stop shop for master expertise, training, mentorship, as well as an incredible community of supportive peers, all of, uh, available affordably and from the comfort of each artist's own studio, like this one. <laughs> At Masterius, artists meet monthly online with their chosen mentor and a small group of peers for mentorship, personalized training, and support, and can journey together for the long term or switch to a new master when they're looking for something more to learn. In just two years, Masterius has become a global phenomenon and is changing modern art education for the better. The Masterius community now includes over 500 artists and 100 mentors, including some of the world's best from every continent on earth. What we're witnessing here? is the growth of a vibrant, healthy, and life-giving community. The mentors are also huge fans of Masterius. They love how relational and personal the small group format is and how easy it is to give back from their experience. Though Masterius has made a huge progress and impact in such a short time, they only just started helping the millions of creatives desperate for the mentorship and community Masterius offers. This is now your opportunity our opportunity. Masterius is at the beginning of their journey to change the world's creative landscape, and you can get in on the ground floor. But you didn't log in to hear me talk. You want answers. I want answers. Please allow me to welcome Mike DeBoer, co-founder and CEO of Masterius. Hi, Michael. Thanks so much for, <laughs> thanks so much for doing this today. I, well, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. I'm looking forward <laughs> to being grilled, but uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough for doing this. This is amazing. Uh, Mike, here's the thing. I'm going to come out of the corner swinging. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah. So I believe we got Marlon here. He's working behind the scenes. He's going to be fielding some questions and stuff like that. So in my way, uh, Marlon, yeah, you read my mind. I'm going to ask you to set the time for 180 seconds, three minutes, Mike, in three minutes or less, please tell me everything about Masterius. Go. Okay. 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 Um, um, I think I'm set up. I'm sharing my screen. Uh, is this coming out of my time? Uh, here we go. The creatives <laughs> training industry is broken and Masterius is going to revolutionize it. At Masterius, we've discovered two groups trying to connect motivated creatives who are stuck at their do it yourself ceiling and are looking for someone to help them and craft masters who want to give back of their lifetime of experience, but need someone to make it easy and profitable for them. Our research says that there's over 200 million painters and photographers, digital artists and dancers, chefs and songwriters who feel alone and frustrated and who are actively trying to get unstuck. And there's over 5 million masters who very much want to give back. The global creatives training industry is worth a huge $130 billion. It's an industry that sells false hope by saying, just watch this recording and everything will be fine. It's an industry that desperately needs a revolution. So to connect motivated creatives and craft masters, we've built our mentorship marketplace. Creatives pay for a monthly membership to be mentored by their choice of master in a group of eight peers. Mentorship groups meet over video conference and can stay together for as long as they want. Now, there's certainly other platforms out there serving creatives. It's our unique combination of live mentorship and curated community that sets us apart. And what the pre-recorded platforms have discovered is that personalized interactivity is the holy grail to customer retention. Mastery has solved the personalization problem, the retention problem. Our member retention results show members who have left start to return after 12 months. Thanks to our community curators, we call them navigators, members form strong bonds within their mentorship group. Those who leave just miss their new family. In the two years since launch, annualized gross revenue has grown to half a million dollars. We have over 500 paid monthly memberships and 100 mentors from all over the world in our initial niche vertical of fine art painters. 
on our road to becoming the mentorship community for the world's creatives, today's $1 million investment is projected to grow revenue by up to five times. With the money you invest, we'll be able to add value for our members, expanding our online art shows and courses. We'll add members by increasing the advertising reach of our events and adding a referral program. And we're also going to add more mentors. Not only does every new mentor expand our marketing reach, but with every mentor we add, we know that a lifetime of experience is being passed along and isn't going to be lost. And we'll fully launch our second vertical of photographers. I'd love for you to join us as we ensure that there are no more starving artists. Taking advantage of global acceptance of video conference to ensure no one travels alone on their growth journey. Any questions? <laughs> Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you made that look easy. That was fantastic, Mike. Right on. Thank you. Whew. Um, well, yes, I have questions. I, okay. I have a lot of questions. And I'm, and I'm sure actually, uh, I see so many people in the chat. They're from all over the place, which is amazing. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks to Marlon also for managing that stuff in the back end. Um, I have some questions right off the bat uh, that I've, I've sort of put together and I'm going to send them to you. Uh, then Marlon's going to uh, send some questions over from the mailbag and from, uh, from our viewers here, but here, okay. What is the big picture plan? Like where's mastery is going? Hey, fair question. And, and I sort of said it really quickly, but, but let me expand. So yeah, mastery is to be honest, we want to change the world. We, we see a world in disconnection, a world where, where because of social media, because of COVID, because of actually the, the very practice of creating art is a practice of trying to connect. So we, we, see, we see these millions of people who are trying to connect with each other and, and haven't been able to. And so in Masters, we want to enable that human to human connection. We want to make the world a better place for creatives to grow, to connect with others. We want to solve disconnection and loneliness. We want to solve me first competitiveness. We want to solve this. All you need is a recording. Nobody who gets there gets there alone. And, and how we do that at Mastrius is, is our come for the expert, stay for the community approach. Uh -huh. Our customers come for for these incredible mentors giving back from their lifetime of experience and then yeah. they discover and they learn the skills needed to get unstuck and to grow but but what they also discover is others on the journey at the same point as they are people who who also have ideas to share and have encouragement and they can commiserate with so we, we have these fantastic small group communities that have formed of people leaning into doing life with each other. Wow. And, and then from there, you know, where, what's the big picture plan? I, I've got a <laughs> few slides here. I, am, am I allowed to share a slide, Mike? I, yeah, do it. Yeah. Do a slide. Uh, yeah, Michael, yeah, yeah. let me yeah. see here. Um, so, so the plan, there, there are so many creatives verticals and, and we've started as, as our, our current members and, and, and navigators and mentors know, we've started with fine art painting, but yeah. there's so many other creatives in the world who, who are looking to master their skills and are looking to connect. So we've got all of these different verticals. And, and so over, wow. let's see if I can advance a slide here, there we go. Um, so we've got we've got a roadmap, and and so we're we're going to grow through what I call our adjacent market strategy. So wow. from fine yeah. art painting, we're growing into photography. From there, more visual artists, digital artists, let's say game designers. From there, into filmmaking, directing, and and as we expand outwards into verticals where. People share those those creatives those creative interests and, and are able to to make entering that new space efficient and yeah. organic. 
I over answered your question. I've been doing that. Did I get you? <laughs> no, that was awesome. I, you, you had me at like game design and like, it's really cool to see the trajectory actually, that it's not just this one thing. It's like all these things and filmmaking is a passion of mine. Um, so that's, that's super cool. Um, all right. So I guess that leads me to sort of my next question is, you know, how do I know, how do you know, how do I know that Masters is going to be successful? Like that's, you're taking on a big, scary thing. Yeah. Um, great question. How do I know? Is anything for sure? Um, <laughs> no. right. I asked the tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So great question. Um, so in reviews, in, in analysis of, of startups, so Mastery is a, is a startup. Mastery is, a, is a, right. a, a brand new business model that is, is launching new ideas. It's, it's called a startup. Right. And if you look at startups, Uber and, and Airbnb and Amazon and all these things, um, the, the data says that the biggest predictor of startup success is timing. It's not the founding team, the idea, the technology all matter, but the thing that matters most is timing. And, and we believe that mastery is, is an idea with perfect timing. COVID was a, a, a very nasty event. It, it you know, negatively impacted the entire world. Yeah. However, what it did for, for our idea is it normalized video conference it normalized the idea of what we're doing here today where, where <laughs> right. i'm talking yeah. to you over the internets so <laughs> mastery is this idea of connecting face to face real time live and interactive but over the internet is yeah. perfect timing so so biggest biggest reason why i believe master is going to be successful is because it's an idea with great timing. A few other awesome. things to throw out there. Um, for, for those in our community, we, we, I think we've got many on the, the call today who are members of our current community, but but they may not know that Mastery has actually existed for a couple of years prior to launching in this fine art space as a company called Leveling Up, where we, we helped mid, mid-career corporate managers grow their leadership skills. Yeah. And we, so, so why do I know masters is going to be successful? Cause we learned a lot from that. We, we were resilient in the face of the world changing underneath us where leadership training, thanks to COVID's disruption was no longer, no longer required, no longer justified by our customers. Our entire team pivoted on a dime and said, we have a fantastic idea and, and and so how do we how do we make this reach the world so we've got a proven team a resilient team that's proven it can solve problems and and we've landed in the middle of perfect timing yeah oh that's awesome so it just sort of a bit of a non sequitur question or maybe it is i mean so the the pivot from you know leadership to art is is big uh what was the impetus behind that like that's a, that's a big swing uh, great question. I have to give 100% of the credit to my, uh, my co-founder and, and also my, yeah. who happens to also be my wife. Uh, the painting you see behind me is one of hers. She's an artist and she had traveled along with us in our leadership land days. And, and when we started questioning, you know, how does mastery, or at that time it's called leveling up, how does that add value to the world? She said, you know what, I think my people would love this highly interactive community based face to face learning. This, this idea of connecting over video conferences is now normal for us artists. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're disconnected in our studios. We, we want to connect. So yeah, it was, it was a member of our team saying my people want this, need this. Amazing. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I got chills. Like, <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay. So back to, back to more serious, super okay. serious questions. Um, I, so as an investor, 
I would be worried about somebody coming in and tugging the rug out from under you and stealing your idea. So mm. how is it that you're going to prevent this amazing idea from being stolen or repurposed or repackaged in a different way? Great question. Um, so I have to go back to our community and member retention data. What we're seeing is a, an ecosystem where, where people are, are traveling their entire creative journey from aspiring artists that, that wants to go beyond what you can learn from a YouTube video, growing and progressing to the point of, of mastering skills to where you can start mentoring and, and actually, sorry, but even before that, uh, having skills to be able to be a navigator, to curate community. So, so now they go from being a, a, a recipient of what Masteries offers to, to they're now part of providing as a navigator, they're curating community, they're providing what Masteries offers. And then from navigator, they can continue to progress to mentor professional level, master level. Um, the, the whole idea here is that there's this, this ecosystem that grows Let's see, I think I got a slide here. This, these, these slides yeah, come out of yeah. what, what our, our community can find on Front Funder, where, where this ecosystem, oh, yeah. is, is, it fuels itself. So, so how do we prevent stealing? It's, it's this customer loyalty and not loyalty because you know, uh, of, of a brand, the, the, we, we got a fantastic logo, but loyalty because <laughs> you can see your entire creative journey being manifest at masteries um, you can grow through your entire journey and and all of your your people are here your try you found your tribe and you're journeying alongside of them so you know how do we prevent an idea from being stolen it, yeah you can pirate uh, amazon's website i could build another amazon tomorrow i, I would never win against yeah. amazon because of customer loyalty we have fantastic customer loyalty Wow. Okay. And uh, the, the navigators are obviously kind of a linchpin for that. It's a key to this. It's the glue, I guess, that holds a lot of this together. Hey. Yes. Yes, absolutely. They're the, the, they're the magic ingredient um, by having those community curators, they're, they're, they're peers, they're, they're artists alongside the other members in a group that are being mentored, they're growing, but at the same time, be, because they have these community building and facilitation skills, they're yeah. able to, to invest back into the ecosystem. Love it. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I buy that. Okay. Oh, speaking of buy that. Um, okay. So let's say I do invest um, and I, I'm getting closer and closer every time we talk. Um what am I buying? Like, what is the, what is, what's the deal? Oh, um, so you're purchasing shares, uh, the price of 30 cents a share into a privately held corporation. Um, as, as you'll find out on front funder, the minimum investment amount is, is $500. Um, okay. and, and so as shareholders, you're, you're basically owning a piece of the company. You, you are part owner alongside myself, alongside our other shareholders, alongside our other founders as, as a, an owner of Mastrius. And, and then as, as Mastrius grows, those shares increase in value. And, and I, I can't predict, I shouldn't predict, <laughs> it would be irresponsible to predict how yeah, much those shares will increase yeah. in value, but Sure. You, you, shares and so you, you'll have these shares that eventually you can sell is that is that what you're asking like michael yeah I, I mean yeah i mean that's sort of the that's the engineering kind of answer that i was uh, i I'm was expecting engineer. but but what, but what I'd like to know is what really am i buying like what's the i mean i i get the sense of the passion um mm. i get the you know but maybe you know the starving artist thing is is interesting to me the you know going aspiring emerging professional the trajectory is that you know, what did, give me some more, give me, give me the meat. Okay. So, so what are you really buying? Our investors are buying, like I shared at the beginning, a chance to change the world. 
you're becoming co-owner in in a movement in in a an idea this come for the experts stay for the community idea that that's changing lives um if if you were at our uh, launch event on i think it was september 17th when we, we launched this equity crowdfunding you'll you'll have heard deb one of our members talk about how because of her experience at Masterius and, and, and the, the courage that she's grown in, in advancing her work and, and stepping in as a navigator and, and helping other artists, that her kids are seeing her grow this courage. And, and the change in her life is propagating through to the change in, in their lives. They're seeing their, their mom grow in, in her skills and, and in her confidence and in her art. And so she's, so what are you buying? You're buying a, a for-profit. So, so this isn't a, this isn't a not-for-profit. I'm not asking for, for, for charity donations. This is, yeah. this is a for-profit, yeah, yeah. a self-sustaining business. You're buying yeah. a chance to change the world through a self-sustaining business that is actually changing people's lives day to day. Great answer. Holy, wow. Okay. <laughs> That was, I almost don't want to ask my next question. <laughs> okay. Afraid of I'm the glad. next question. These are good. Michael, this, these have been fantastic questions. This is for, for, for people you. listening in who have never had the opportunity to watch Mike DeBoer get grilled by an investor. <laughs> um, this, this is, this is fantastic grilling. Yeah. This is, you know, this, I, I don't know that I've met, um, some of the hard questions that I'm getting today and, and they're great. So Michael, thank you for this. And, and we, you're very welcome. Um, I also like to thank the people in the chat who are putting some great questions in there. I will get to those shortly. Um, I, I do have, okay. So, I mean, the, the, what, what am I buying question also gave me chills by the way, which I, I think is a great, you know, litmus test for me. Um, and I am somewhat reluctant to ask this question, but okay. How do I, how do I get my payout? Like, and, and I'm, and I'm not saying that I'm going to dump the stock at any point. I'm just wondering, like, how do I, how do I get out? How do I exit? How, what's, what's the plan? Why would you invest if you, you didn't know what the investment could return? No, absolutely. So, so in addition to, you know, the world changing, so let, let's talk, you know, dollars and cents. So yeah, so investors, like I said, are purchasing shares. And we do anticipate multiple rounds of investment. If you, if you look at other um, tech startups like Mastrius, there, there are series of, of investment. And with every investment, the value of the company, as, as the company grows and as we get more members and more revenue, value grows. And so at every stage of investment, your shares will increase in value. As a privately held company, your your ability to transfer or sell those shares are, is actually quite limited. Um, so so investors need to approach this as a buy and hold type of investment. Our what an exit for Mastrius looks like is in notionally five to ten years, one of two things will happen. We will either be acquired or we will go public. We could be acquired by one of our competitors where that, you know, we're sticking our finger in the eye of, whether it be Masterclass or Coursera or LinkedIn. These are, these are companies that, that we are competing against, those pre-recorded companies. So, so they might say, you know, what Masters is doing, fantastic. Um, so, yeah. so we could be acquired uh, or we could go public. And once you go public, then the, the shares have a, a value on the public uh, exchange. Um, right. So it, I mentioned earlier, it'd be irresponsible for me to, to mention anything about, um, you know, potential exit value. What right. I can do is I can point to what trajectories competitors have, have followed and I've shared on the screen here, one of the slides that's in, in the, the deck available in front funder, um, competitor Coursera. You know, in 2021, went IPO at, at nearly four billion after yeah. you know, 10 years since founding. Udemy, nearly four billion 2021. 
few more years, it's about 13 years since founding. Masterclass hasn't exited yet, but it's a $3 billion company. Skillshare um, raised funds at half a billion. Um, Linda, which some of our listeners might uh, know better as LinkedIn Learning, was acquired in 2015 for a billion and a half. So, oh, wow. so a company like Masterius has high value exit potential. That's what you could get at payout. Gotcha. Awesome. As, so there's been a bunch of questions coming in the chat which is awesome. Uh, some of them you answered, some of them we're, we're going to go back to in okay. a second. Um, I do have, I have one more question before we jump over to the chat and the mailbag stuff, if that's all right. Yep. Um, yep. Cause something I'm, I'm really curious about is what masters is planning to do with the money they're raising this round. Like what, what's the, what's the plan with that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good, good question. Um, so I, I, take the responsibility to steward our investors cash very seriously it's you you our investors have put a huge amount of faith in us so ultimately the vision for investing the money is what are we going to do we're going to grow the company to to increase the value of the investment what do we do to do that um one of the key things that we're doing all the time is listening to our community, to our members, to our navigators, to our mentors, and trying to make sure that we are actually solving their most acute problems. And with that, as, as our community has, has grown to, to know, we, we experiment, we test out ideas. Now, some of our experiments um, uh, are, are ready to unfold larger as I Maybe I'll just grab the, the slide I had earlier that I went through really fast in my pitch. Um, mm -hmm. this, this, what are we gonna do with the money? Um, so with our experiments, we've learned that our online art shows add a lot of value for our members. So we're gonna start holding more of those. And, and those so are a great- Quick, quick question about that is, yeah. is so the, the art show, just because there's something in the chat about this, people are curious about how artists can make money in this. This is something that actually goes back to the artists as well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So Mastery char charges a, uh, as, as the artist who participated previous time, no, we charge a 30% commission. So 70% of the revenue from, from those art show sales goes to the artist and, and fantastically, a number of the artists in, in our August art show, our very first art show, um, for, the, for them is their very first show, their very first time <laughs> selling their work. They, they, and, and so what a wonderful experience to, to find a, a market for, for the, the thing you're passionate about doing. Yeah, so, right on. Yeah. Uh, we, okay, well, sorry, um, sorry to distract you there. No, no, no more starving artists. We want to help artists find grow the skills and find the market for their work. So, so art shows, we're happy to, to make those art sales happen. So we're going to have more of those. They, they could also become uh, navigators. They could become mentors. They could. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can Got progress it. from being a buyer to a, uh, sorry, CEO language from being a buyer to a seller <laughs> on the platform. Instead of yeah. spending money to be here, you can make, make money to be here by adding value back into the, the community. Right. Um, okay. we're, we're also going to be adding courses. So we've done some, some experiments and tests and we found not only is our mentorship very organic model, adding a lot of value, but, but short term, you know, focused learning events, call them courses, um, yeah. add a lot of value. So we're going to launch more of those. And in, in what we what we really want to do, so you know, look at these huge numbers, 200 million creatives that are desperate. They're, they're, they are currently paying for training and trying to get better. That's the 200 million people number. We, we want to provide them a better solution. We want to get in front of them to let them know that mastery exists. So what are we doing with the money? Marketing. That, that's, that's what marketing is, getting in front of these, these people who, who have the problem that we solve. Yeah. 
Um, 200 million is a pretty appealing market size. Um, <laughs> it's, it, it's a huge, um, so are you familiar with the term blue ocean opportunity, Michael? Have you heard that yeah. before? Uh, the, yeah, sure have. The idea that, that there aren't a lot of, well, there are competitors, but there's nobody really swimming in the same water we are. We've discovered, and, and this is, this is gold for a startup to discover a, a relatively uncontested space and to say, you know what, yeah. we can grow far fast. There's a huge problem that hasn't been solved here and we have a fantastic solution for it. Huge blue ocean opportunity in front of us, 200 million people. Love it. Okay, awesome, thank you. Uh, okay, that's all my questions for now. Okay. Um, and we, we salted a couple from the audience here, but what I'd like to do right now, if you're cool, because they're right here in the chat, I can see them. Um, I'd like to sort of go through those top to bottom. Um, and then we do have some mailbag, uh, questions. So people that sent stuff, uh, from before the event started, they knew what was happening. They're just like, Oh, I want this question answered. Okay. So I've got those, those will come after these ones. I'd like to, uh, deal with our live audience right now. Okay. Um, okay. so Let's Ned, Ned, Ned. Ned asks, um, how do you think the bad economy will affect your plans for now and in the future? Mm. Great question. Um, I, I guess I would lean into, uh, have you heard uh, the term the great resignation? Yes. So the bad economy, changing world environment, you know, COVID and so we have a lot of people in the world right now who are, are questioning where to spend their time and their energy and, and they're wanting to, to lean into their passions. So how is the bad economy? The, the bad economy is really a chance for people to evaluate what do they really care about and what do they really want to do with their life by providing a cost competitive accessible solution my honest answer to what is the bad economy going to do for mastery is it's great timing. It's almost the best thing that could happen to us. People looking <laughs> for ways to make money, to augment wages they've lost elsewhere, to lean into their passions, to do the thing that they wanted to do out of high school, but their parents said, no, you can't make a living being an artist. Go be a teacher or a nurse or, or something different. Yeah. Those, those people are looking to... And, and in fact, the data um, through COVID, if, if you look at, say, global sales of fine art paintings during COVID, actually skyrocketed. People were, were investing in, in art. So art is a, the creatives industry is a very resilient industry. Uh, so it's been, I, around, I think, been around a long time. <laughs> yeah. So bad economy, I, I, again, I think it's a perfect timing for us. Awesome. Great, great answer. Thank you. And uh, Ned, thanks for that question. Uh, Bonnie, um, she writes, uh, what are some of the best practices that are feeding the creation of this community of creatives? Some of the best practices. Yeah. So I think the answer has to go back to our fundamental of come for the expert, stay for the community. Yeah. What we have, what we have learned is there's these 5 million exceptional craft masters across the globe that want to give back. And by giving them opportunity to say, Hey, I'm at Masterius. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm able to give back. There's no technology barriers. Mastery takes care of all of the, 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 the hard stuff that I can just give back. So, so that our, and, and they get, and they get paid, right? Yeah. Like it's oh yeah. Not, yes, they're yes, not yes, doing yes. it for free. Yeah. No, our, our mentors, that's a, it's a, it's paid uh, income for them. So it, it supplements their, their, the, the other creative work they do um, yeah. and, and justifies their time away from that. Um, so, so we've got these, these mentors that, that want to give back. So we, we have customers saying, okay, um, wow, I finally get to be mentored by, uh, pick a name at random, uh, David Langevin was on slide number one of, of my, my pitch deck there. I finally get to be mentored by David Langevin. 
And wow. and so the members come for for that expert, but but they join a group of peers, and because of our navigator model, we're very intentional about ensuring that those peers lean into connecting with each other. So the the best practice is to foster that community where we're learning as much from each other as we are from the expert, and then creating a platform, an opportunity for those communities to stay together, like I say, for as long as they wish. We've, we've got groups that are still in operation from over, well, from two years ago. Um, so because of that community building effort. So the best practice is really constantly leaning into this come for the expert and, and working hard with the platform to ensure that community is fostered and supported and made possible organically and, and through, through the, the mechanistic means uh, at scale. Awesome. Great, great answer and great question. Uh, thanks for that, Bonnie. Fantastic. Um, Isabel, uh, she, she's got a two-parter. One, I think you've answered, but we'll, we'll get you to clarify that again. Uh, okay. she writes as a potential investor, what does the current share structure look like before this financing? That's question number one. There's a, it's a two-parter. Okay. Um, so there are investors to date, um, yeah. the, the, how do I untangle this in a, in a quick fashion? <laughs> <laughs> so we, the the three founders own the the majority of the shares. We have about four hundred thirty thousand dollars of uh, what you call friends, family, and angel investors to date. Um, so they have a version of shares that will convert with this round. It's it's called a, a safe investment or simple agreement for future equity. So. Uh, so how do I answer this question? Well, what does the share structure <laughs> look like? There are investors currently. Um, after this round, if an investor purchased all million dollars of this round, we've, we've all watched Dragon's Den, right? For X dollars, I get Y percent of your company. Right, if, you, right, right. if you spent X dollars, you spent a million dollars, you'd get, and the exact number escapes me, but it's it's... 20% ish of the company. So gotcha. we are, we're basically 20% of the company is, is uh, available for this million dollars. Great. Okay. I, th I think that's good. Um, if, if there's more hair around the question, feel free to email me at, at Mike at Masterius. Um, that, that, that can be a very convoluted engineering answer that. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, dumb it, dumb it down for us artists, Mike. Come on. <laughs> um, now, I think you answered this one, but Isabel's part B to this is: is there a plan to go public at some point? So, uh, I, I guess one thing I'd like to throw in: so one of two things will happen: we will either be acquired, or we will go public. Now, we're the privately owned company. We can choose who acquires us, and. Yeah. What I want to tell our current community and our current investors is that it is incredibly important that if we are acquired, it is a values aligned acquisition. And even right on. all of our- That was my next question. The way. Yeah. We, we want the, the, the values of, of growth and community and trust and giving back to continue to be Mastery's values into perpetuity. So if we are acquired, that would be part of the, the acquisition requirement. Um, so yeah, public or acquisition, the values that are fundamental to, to mastery is, will remain. Copy that. Awesome. Great answer, Isabel. Great questions. Thank you so much. Um, Dale has one, but I think he just answered it. But just again, let's clarify. How many okay. shares are being issued initially from Dale? Uh, oh. Um, I, I know you said think, it's kind of a percentage, but I don't know. the. Quantity. Yeah, I, I, I don't have the, the number. I, I should have the number off the top of my head. Unfortunately, apologies. I don't happy to follow that one up with an email. Uh, Dale, you said, okay. uh, Dale, yeah, Dale, email me at Mike at masters, uh, dot com. 20% of the company is, is up for sale. 
currently. Gotcha. And just to to salt this in, because you've said it a couple times, if you have questions, do you want to direct to Mike right away? Mike at masteries.com. Oh, it's right there. Uh, yeah. So send him stuff. Uh, more than willing to. He got on the phone with me on the Zoom with me. I'm just like, Mike, I got questions. He's like, let's do it for everybody. So uh, I love that. Um, all right. So uh, thank you, Dale. Um, Katie is next. And um, uh, there are two things in here. One you just answered, which is what percentage of the company are you selling, which is 20% in this round. Um, and I, I think we've answered this one already, but I will throw it back to you. It's, it's more of a statement. Uh, she's waiting to hear how the product gets the artist to make a living. Uh, for many, this is an important part of the end game. Yeah. Um... Thanks, Katie. So, yeah, fantastic question. Um, when back in 2018, when the idea for then called leveling up was first conceived, the, the idea I had in my head was that nobody that gets there gets there alone. I was, I was climbing the corporate ladder within the energy industry. I was a, a, a senior executive and, and I was, realizing that that all of these people a few strata above me had executive coaches had had people uh, had mentors people who were investing and they did not get there alone and i started to look around and it's okay every olympic athlete you know didn't get there watching youtube videos and yet you know we we are sold this idea that watch a few youtube videos you know take some pre-recorded classes and you'll get there so, so how are we helping artists make a living? Key to all of it is to ensure that someone who has succeeded is feeding back into you saying, here's how I did it. Here's the thought process. Here's the, the technique skills, right. the marketing skills, the business skills. So, so we're, we're helping people grow their skills from people who have been there and have succeeded themselves. Not just here's how you paint a pretty picture, but how to market it, how to get into galleries, how to you uh... <laughs> the full the full journey. And at the same time, we're doing what we can, like we talked about earlier with the art shows, yeah. to 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 also be the the place where you can start, you know, selling your work. Um, right we on. don't have to be the only place where that happens, but but if we can be part of that journey. We would love to support you in that way. Love it. Okay, cool. I got one more from Katie. Uh, I, there's a, a couple here, but um, we are running low on time. So I want to ask this one because I think it, it, it's a really, this one jumped out at me as like, dang, that's a, that's, that's, a, that's a question to ask. Katie asks, do the founders have other jobs? Hmm. Um, so... For my so there's there's three founders. There's myself, um, my wife Julie DeBoer, and co-founder Victor Lee. Um, yeah. I I do not have another job. Um, I am full time plus masterious. Um, right co-founder Julie DeBoer is um, she has two full time jobs. Um, so, so half <laughs> yeah. of her life. So she is half time artist and half time masterious or or full-time both jobs um and and that ensures that as the the prototypical customer that we are meeting her needs because she is also an yeah. artist so she does have uh, and uh, then our co-founder victor lee he does have another job he's actually the uh the ceo of a technology uh development and solutions company that that leans into practical solutions of of ai um our standing Mastery's <laughs> key initiative right now is is connecting with artists. But as as our platform grows, technology will become more dominant. So so right now it it works that we're not bearing the full cost of of Victor's salary. Yeah, In right time, on. <laughs> um, it it the the technology role within the team will grow. So we do yeah. So some of our team do have other jobs. Um, it's it's strategic and it's it's, yeah, it's all in alignment it sounds, 
yeah awesome great questions um thank you um okay so i'm gonna go to the mail bag uh if for some reason i didn't see your question in the chat um or you know, if you think that it wasn't answered appropriately, again, hit up Mike, Mike at masteries.com. He'll be more than happy to get back to you with everything you ever wanted to know. Um, so from the mailbag, this is before this uh, happened. Here's question number one. Would being an investor exclude me from applying to be a masterious mentor or a navigator in the future? Cool question. Good question. Um, the answer is absolutely no. Um, actually, we have well over half of the investors to date are, are, are members of our community. They're either members or, or navigators or mentors who see how necessary Mastrius is for, for creatives. So no, being an investor does not, it, it's not like the, uh, you know, if, if you're a, uh, if you're an employee of Tim Hortons, you can't, um, participate in the scratch uh right no um <laughs> roll, roll up the investor wind. doesn't keep you out of the action at all gotcha okay good thank you um okay here's a here's one that's less about investing but more about the growth uh how can meeting only once a month for two hours lead to significant growth uh, hmm. so that that's a question to the the heart of this whole thing yeah um great question so uh, let's see, I can answer this a few different ways. Um, how, how can meeting two hours once a month contribute to significant growth? So, so the, the two hours once a month is this high feedback session with, with your mentor, with, with the world-class expert, where you're getting yeah. feedback on homework, on, on actual work you've done, and then seeing the feedback from others and being taught and then being assigned homework. We've learned from many in our community that the homework they're assigned and getting that done before the next month, that's that's a stretch. So one month right. between sessions for, for many is, is, um, <laughs> is almost not enough. But we've also got about 15% of our community who enroll in multiple mentorship groups. What they've said is once a month isn't enough. I want to fast track. I want to, I want to replace an art school, art university education with a master's education. And we've had members in as many as five groups at once. So oh my the, the beautiful thing about this model is it allows the members to scale their education for what fits them best. Not, not only their own availability, but their speed of learning or how much time they want to invest in, in the homework. You can scale how many groups you want. And, and we, have, we have members doing that all the time, um, going in two, three, four, five groups at once. So wow. many would say once a month isn't enough, and they found a solution for that. Outstanding. Uh, this sort of leads me to this next mailbag question, uh, which is, will having a lot of masters in painting stop other mentors uh, from succeeding on the platform? Good question. Um, so one of the key problems that Mastria solves for our artists that come to us for mentorship is discoverability to find these, these expert mentors. And so the more mentors we get, the more discoverability becomes a problem. If, right. if I think of, you know, platforms that, that we're watching and learning from Airbnb, Amazon, and the like, all of these platforms have things called recommendations engines, you know, people like yeah. you, like, you know, bought stuff like this, all of these platforms have, have highly searchable. Um, so, so will adding other you know, verticals, other mentors make it more difficult to, to discover, or to find the mentor that's perfect for you? Yes, but no, because that is a key problem that we need to continuously solve. And that's part of what these investment funds allow us to do is to, to upgrade the technology, upgrade the, the filtering on the website and, and allow uh, you, the, the member, the, the artist who wants to grow, 
to find the perfect mentor for you. So hope I answered that that well. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, <laughs> heck yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, final heavy hitting question. Uh -oh. This one, uh -oh. yeah, this one is, uh, it's kind of, it's a big question, I think. Um, and it is asked, Mike, is there a reason to invest now? Like why now? Hmm. Okay. Um, so, so there's two, two ways I'm going to answer this. Um, the first way is as an investor now, I, I think you used the words early on, uh, getting in on the ground floor. Yeah. You, as an investor now, you are fundamental to the, the growth and success of this company. You, okay, so if I'm gonna be transparent and vulnerable and, and, and anybody who-, who That's digs what into, I want. Okay, anybody who dig, digs into <laughs> Mastrius's financials will discover this. Mastrius's business model is designed to be profitable at something between five and 10,000 members. What that means for everybody listening on this call, you've just heard me say that Masters is currently not profitable. We are burning more cash than we are bringing in. And, and that's on purpose. Masters okay. is able to offer this, this solution, this opportunity for artists in a very cost efficient fashion because our vision is to be serving millions. Economies and, of scale so, at play. Exactly. So, so we need to grow to that over 5,000 member mark as quickly as possible. And today's investment allows us to move a long ways towards that hurdle. So we need the investor funds to, 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 to accomplish these goals, to accomplish the marketing, to accomplish the increased value add, so, so that we can grow to this size of, of profitability. So, All right. so, so why invest now is, is you are getting in on the ground floor. Uh, another, actually, I'll, I'll answer this in three parts. Okay. <laughs> part, part two is to, so investing in a company is, is basically de-risking the opportunity for the next investor. For every investor that comes in, there's more fuel for the fire, more fuel for growth. And so every investment that comes in is a vote saying, we believe Mastrius has happened on the perfect recipe. We believe this team, well, you know, I, uh, I'm a human, I admit I have flaws, but we believe this is the right team to bring this thing together. Every, every investment right now is a vote saying, this is fantastic. And what you are doing by investing now is you are signaling to the next set of investors that yes, this is the right thing to invest in. So by investing now, you are sending a clear message to more investors. You are attracting more investment to Mastrius. Gotcha. The third way I'll answer the why invest now question and I have a slide ready for this one. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Why invest? I, I want the, the people on this call to invest now because of that, yeah. that signal that you send to people down the road because the, you know, adding fuel to this engine allows us to succeed. So, so Masteries has offer, is offering a, a short-term invest now perk. So if you're listening oh. to this, whether it be on the recording or, or live today, if you yeah. invest before 5 p.m. Mountain Time on Halloween, on Monday, October 31st, you have a chance to win one of three vouchers worth 25% the value of your investment to use at the Mastrius Online Art Show at the end of November here. If you are an existing investor, we also want you to be able to enjoy this. If you're an existing investor and you want to participate in this, email luca at frontfunder.com and add $100 to your investment and your name will be added to the hat 
for that draw for one of three. Um, so um, I'll, I'll make sure to add the, the, the fine print and details to the email that goes out tomorrow to everybody on this call. But yeah. there, there is a perk for you. You get to buy some art and support other artists in their, their growth journey. There's another reason to invest now. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, hold on, I got too many screens happening here. Mike, I can't think of one more question to ask at this point. Um, so we're coming up on seven o'clock. Um, thank you everybody for participating in this and the great questions we got from the, from the audience was fantastic. Again, if your question didn't get answered or you thought of something else after, uh, Mike had answered something, send them an email, Mike at masteries.com. Um, I can't thank you enough for being part of this, but Mike, thanks for showing up and taking the challenge. I'm like, Mike, we got to do this. I need answers. And you're just like, yep share it with the world. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, this, this is, this is, uh, is honestly fantastic. I don't know why every startup looking for investment doesn't do this and yeah. get online and get grilled by an investor so that everybody with the, the questions can, can hear the answers. Michael, yeah. thank you so much. I, I think for, for asking me all the hard <laughs> questions. I, the, I, I am, I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot and ask you how much you're investing. Um, but um, I want to challenge you to invest in Mastrius. We are, we are changing the world. We have already changed the world for hundreds and hundreds of artists who are making their first sales, whose kids are watching them, them grow and thrive and lean into new areas of, of life that, that they never expected their, their mom or their dad to do. We, we hear the words or the, the word life changing all the time. So Michael, I, I challenge you to invest in a for-profit life changing uh, revolution that you know is going to be we all use words like uh you know facebook or uber or airbnb we all know what that is the world is going to know shortly here what mastrius is and you get to be on the ground floor of this world changing movement you had me at no more starving artists <laughs> <laughs> thank Perfect. you uh mike thank you so much uh thanks, whoa thanks everybody for coming um that's all i got uh so take it away mike if you have anything closing to say otherwise i'm in you know uh that's all i got okay. i'll throw my uh my my details up here if if you are ready to put money in the, the link is frontfunder.com slash Mastrius. Um, and, and I've got that on the screen there. Frontfunder.com slash Mastrius is, is where you would go to invest uh, and to be a co-owner, to be a part of this world-changing revolution. Um, if you happen to not figure that URL out, uh, there will be an email coming out to folks tomorrow with that as well. Yeah. Michael, thank you. Um, thanks, everybody on the call. Have a great evening. Thanks, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.